Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Symphonics channel. Today, we're building the high grade Cosmic Era, the Gundam Astray Blue Frame 2nd L. And I gotta say, this box art surprises me. It looks so good. And at the side, we got some unpainted job. We got the uh, some action describing as well. And at the side, we got some uh, story describing, the pilot described, the uh, most data. Then, when we open it, we got one, two, Free, free packages at the bottom we got a instruction manual and the manual uh, does give you uh, the transformation of the backpack and other things as well and at the back we got the color guide and some marking and some introduction as well so looking at the runner we got the E runner which is orange then we got the C1 runner I believe is the backpack, the feet and the gatling gun we got the A1 runner mostly on the outside hour because, because you know it's a blue frame. Then we got the B runner which is the backpack runner I believe. We got another C2 runner which is some inner frame like C1. We got some A2 runner for the outside armor and we got something for the backpack and some arms for as well. Then we got the D1 and D2 runner. It's basically is the same, it's just some part are duplicated, I think. It's just some waist part and some arms part. Then it's very special. Since the blue distant unit 2, I am the second time to see blue uh body caps. And I can tell uh, it's gonna need a lot of recoloring because this is a huge stickers and we also got some marking sheet here. Well anyway, I'm just gonna see you at the review. Gave you too much, now I'm swallowed. Why you breaking rules? Dangerous path that I follow. Oh, go on, just do what you do. And it to the touch Am I insane not to let go Oh Go on Just do what you do And it
Hello and welcome back to the review of the Astray Blue Frame Second L. So uh, this is the finishing of it. I couldn't turn to the back because the backpack itself is very heavy. But luckily, Bandai actually be good this time. Give us a stand to hold the backpack uh, for a while. That's actually a pretty good design. But it's not. Good. But uh, I would usually say you need a action base. Uh, for a better performance of posing. Uh, other than that, nothing nothing is uh, like uh, nothing nothing is bad. Uh, this suit overall is pretty good. It just uses a lot of stickers, like a lot. I'm not even kidding, a lot of stickers. Well, but uh, I couldn't really complain because you know this is an XG. But some of the some of the stickers I need to complain because some parts could have been done with colors uh, which is uh, individual run apart separation but they choose to give us stickers well and there's a lot of marking on the it's not a lot it's just free markings on the mobile suit the head the torso and the shoulder which I will talk through it as I'm reviewing it anyway I'm not gonna talk too much let's start the review let's start with the head as usual the head only the uh, the side of the head uh, and the top of the head here and then the head cameras were all achieved by stickers as you can see I just move away I will just hold the gun up from now on so move up move down and um, is uh, is able to move around 360 the head and uh, you know the head the head itself I think uh, is just a old blue frame head plus a couple extra pieces added on it but it looks pretty cool though it looks like um, it look, it looks like it kind of looks like wearing a helmet for the mobile suit for me. I, I don't know why it give me that feeling, but one thing I need to mention though, all the all the parts on this uh, blue frame second L is all remoted, so it's not using that really crappy old uh, kind of asteroid blue frame mode. So uh, really need to comment about that. Okay, during I think the stand that Bandai gave me is not actually really helpful when I was moving around the uh, gunpla so I decided to shove it on the action base at the moment and I will put it put the stand back on later so you know keep continuing so the hand uh, so the arms is a uh, 360 movable but just be careful you might need to twist around a little bit in order to move it and the hand itself uh, is 360 uh, movable as well the arms uh, the hand the hand as well is 360 movable oh speaking of hands uh, other than the uh, weapon holding hand that I currently put it on on the mobile suit, we also have two more hands, uh, which is a pair of open hand, and you know, uh, at least it's good for posing. Uh, we got some open hands to use. At least it's good for posing. The hands also can twist about a uh, little more than ninety degrees, about one twenty. That was a pretty good movement, though. So let's talk about the waist. The waist uh, can move down uh, to the to the front back about uh, you know 30 degrees can move around about can move around the waist itself can move around about uh, 30 degrees as well it's not moving it's not really movable and uh, the side skirt here the side skirt here is actually can be moving about uh, 40 40 degrees as well uh, the overall the waist and the torso uh, it's not really moving too much and by the way, this is not algae, so there's no front skirt can be movable as well. For the legs, I was pretty surprised because you know uh, it actually wasn't too bad. Uh, so the legs, let's start from the bottom. The legs itself, I can move down. I couldn't really move to the side because there's an uh, there's an armor piece here, but could move down pretty quite well. Uh, it's pretty bendable as well. If uh, is fully bent, about uh, just give me a second. Is bending? It could bend about that far that's just how good it is you could bend up this far bend up all the way to the torso it's pretty good actually it's not bad for a xg movement and there's a there's there's a special thing on the thing uh, on the gun pod. and there's a at the side there's a little knife that you can pull it out oh i think it actually pretty good it's a pretty good feature though uh it's pretty cool looking actually i like this little knife design really good and most part is just by a color separation but just uh, at the back of the legs uh, the inner joints or I should say the inner joints uh, got some white uh, is achieved by stickers but it's just a really little piece so it doesn't really matter I can deal with that next we're gonna talk about the main frame of the mobile suit which is this gigantic backpack uh, as you can see is 
uh, even I put all the action base, you can see the mobile suit is uh, uh, it's slightly tilted to the back because then you know how heavy the backpack is. So the backpack itself, uh, we got some stickers. Uh, is the orange part, the orange part of the backpack is stickers. Uh, also the white part at the top here, white part at the top here is achieved by stickers as well. So uh, basically, all uh, the color separation at the backpack is not doing a really good job. But you know, uh, at least it's not really like those loose stickers like you know those very bad stickers that you move around and just rip it off uh, at least it's not that those bad stickers uh, speaking of speaking of uh, the backpack we actually got some good feature uh, the back here yeah as you can see is there's a problem as well so uh, the thruster here is movable the piece is movable but it's really easy to fail also please be careful when you're messing around with it as, I can, as you can see I just rip it out without actually uh, using any kind of strength so uh, be careful about that if you don't want to if you don't want the part filling off I suggest you to glue it because that part is movable but uh, it's not really useful for any posing even if you glue it nobody's gonna know it so you can glue it up so as I just said the this gunplay mostly is talk about the backpack so I'm just gonna show you the backpack can be transformed into two forms a gigantic sword mode or a gathering gun mode which you can see there's a gathering gun here so I will show you how to do the uh, large sword so first you need to rip it out and flip it to the other round like this then you move down both of the thruster at the below, move like this. Then you need to, then you need to flip it. You need to twist the handle and then move up, move up the uh, handle, like this. So now it should overall become like that. Then it's a really easy. You just need to pull out the inner frame like this, and then you just basically, you just basically clip them together. There you go. Gigantic sword mode, really easy, right? And you can you can also do the gathering gathering gun mode as well. But the gathering gun mode, you need to be a little different. So first, uh, you need to twist the handle down like this. So remember when the sword mode, the handle was facing this way. Now you need to you now the handle must face down to achieve the gathering gun mode. Then we need to uh, push it in, push in the joint. So now it should be look like this, and then, and then we need to separate it, kind of, and then you, and then you turn down like this. So now it should give you a feel like this. Uh, the blade, the blade is facing down. The garland gun is at the front. Then we'll need to rip off the back parts of the mobile suit. See here, the black, the back part here. We need to rip it off and then put it on. After you rip off the after you rip off the uh, back part, it should go uh, at the at the upper side and the underside, and it should the whole gallon gun mode should look like this: blade facing down, the gallon gun facing at the front, and then two back waist pieces should be on the gun as well. Uh, I think the backpack itself designed very very good. It's very fun to play with, and I actually think it kind of matches the theme of the blue frame, which is uh, multi-use. Close combat, just close the blade. Uh, shooting, just open up the blade and you can shoot. That's actually a pretty good design. I like it. I absolutely like it. Overall, I think this mobile suit design is very, very good. I like it. I really like the backpack. Uh, the backpack design is very good. I love it. Uh, and But uh, it's just kind of... I, I feel like uh, if the backpack... <laughs> Could stand on its own without the stand that would be perfect but you know that backpack was heavy because it can uh, go for two forms so i think is uh acceptable for being heavy i really think this uh gunplay having a lot of fun to building it i have a lot of fun to building it and i really would really like uh, anybody who have interest in a, a series buy this one and have fun with it uh i mean it's not using that really crappy old uh, blue frame mold is remolded and it actually got some nice color separation based if we uh, if we ignore the backpack because the backpack mostly is terrible <laughs> it's just a lot of them it's just stickers okay but other than that other parts uh, pretty good it's, it's just some uh, you need to do some recoloring as well I think it's on the uh, bottom of the feet and uh, some at the thruster as well you need to uh, do some repainting but 
you know that's that's up to you if you want to do it and do it but other than that I'm really happy about what I got and I would definitely recommend you to buy it because this one has actually got a lot of things to play with and if you're a guy like me doesn't like doesn't like the models to have too many weapons uh, to make it to make uh, the mobile suit look messy, uh, I think you would definitely enjoy about this um, mobile suit. Uh, I'm sorry, I keep saying mobile suit is Gunpla, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just got that problem. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in another Gunpla review or on the stock. Be sure to follow my Instagram to see my latest update of everything or some other information as well. Yep, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.